alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. Opening three minutes of this scheduled 12-rounder. Teddy, what's the worst case scenario for a power puncher facing a guy who, you know, he knows his opponent doesn't have much stamina. He knows that he's not going to be going after it late. Well, that could be a real trap. You get a little over anxious. You're looking for that home run. And while you're looking for the home run, you're striking out all night. See that smart veteran stuff by David Hay there. He was dazed, but he moves forward. Just not there, straight right hand off the mark. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. A well-placed hook from Mike Tyson. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Halfway through round number one. Tyson's proving to be elusive. Scored well with the left downstairs. David Hayes on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. Mike Tyson turns that hook in well. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. He missed with that headshot. David Hayes impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. And he just turns that hook up top, and it does damage. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Dazed his opponent that time with that power punch. The end of the round is upon us, and now this fighter will hear some attaboys from his corner. He just got to his man good. He did, and he's feeling real good now, having that kind of round. But he also has to hear something else from his corner. Don't forget how you got to that point. Don't get intoxicated. Don't get drunk by the success of that one punch. a big power punch and it landed well. Well, we've been talking about getting in his kitchen. He went in there and he ate everything. Tyson's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Missed that uppercut. How about that left hand? Tyson's coming up big here early on in the fight because he just showed his opponent, hey, listen, you got to be careful. I can counterpunch you. No better way to slow down your opponent. You know, we know the other way you slow him down. You hit him right on the chin and you make him say, hey, I don't want to walk in. But when you make a miss and you counter, that slows him down too. Wow, what an uppercut. Halfway through this round. Targeting the left hand to the body. Tyson swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near. Oh, he is at the loop. Oh, that's got to hurt. How will David Hay react now? A power shot just floored him. One, two, three, four, five. You know David Hay's not going to give up easily. He beats the count here. Decide to bring it. Good combination punch by David Hay right there, and that has his corner cheering him on. What a big shot. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. One, two, three. Tyson's gonna keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. 
And that's the end of round two. Well, we could sit here all day and just laud him for his efforts. I mean, he's been in control early on here with these head shots and staying out of danger. But let's talk about the other side of it, Teddy. Yeah, well, I'm going to talk about the other side, not the conventional side. Now, you got a shorter guy. He's having trouble with the taller guy, keeping him on the outside. So you figure he could work his way in. Use his jab, you know, press forward, take the space away. There's another way. There's another way to skin the cat. Step back. Get the taller guy to give up his height. Become short. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Tyson's trying to get back to where he was here in this round. He was knocked down in the last round. Now, Teddy, when you're the opponent and you knock the guy down, those opening few moments of the next round, do you try to size up and kind of take into account where your opponent is? Do you look into his eyes and assess the situation? Well, I don't know if you get close enough to look right into his eyes as the opponent, but first of all, in the corner, you better not send your fighter out if his eyes don't look clear. That's your responsibility, looking out for the fighter. But as the opponent out there, you look at his legs. If his legs look a little wobbly, you get right on him. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Good old-fashioned one-two by David Hay. Nice work. Not focusing. You're not focusing. Oh, you're doing great. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by David Hay. That's what I want to see. And banging away he goes, able to land that power punch. Trying to force his way in that front door, and he got smacked with that door. Mike Tyson with a big right hand. What the combination is. I land in one shot, but I need to see three, four punches now, all right? This fight is too fucking close for you to be lazy with the punches. You understand? Look, you stand. Start of round number four as we look at Teddy's scorecard. I think this is pretty much what we expected. We thought it would be a good, fair, competitive, balanced fight, and it's even so far. No, not much to separate the two fighters. Right now, both of them working on the outside using the jab. I think it's going to come down to does one guy decide to have a more educated jab? Maybe hook off it, do something a little bit more with that jab. See, that's David Hayes' money punch right there. That right hand he just landed. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Able to dismiss it. 90 seconds to go in round number four. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger but still close enough to then land a counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Let's see some more head movement. Off the target by Mike Tyson. David Hayes, so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. He got hit, but he sends it right back. To the head he goes with a left hand. Hey, keep your hands up. David Hayes got to find a way to land more of these punches. It's okay to throw punches, but not if they're just drifting off the space. Absolutely, and space is it. He's in space. He's too far away. He has to get the right range. 
Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Tyson's banged by a right hand. Outside. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. Yeah, I like what I see. I love what I see, baby. Missed the target. David Hayes shook up there, Teddy. What a turn of events. Just moments ago, he was the one doing the damage. No other sports show. Solid. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's all over. David Hayes' night has ended early here. Unable to go the distance. He couldn't rise up and beat the count. By way of knockout, your winner, As we saw, he was up on your scorecard throughout the evening. Mike Tyson's now a winner by knockout. Listen, you want to win, you want to get to a title, you want to be successful, but you want to make money. And this is one way to ensure you're going to make money, scoring knockouts. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights.